how do you how do you approach the second open week? Yeah, it was good. I got so we had some practice last week, and then we were able to go home for a few days. So it was a good reset for me. You know, get my mind off some football things. Start. I was with the family a little bit. Got to see my little brother's game. So it was good. Saw you and Sam were wearing the multicolored hats and doing the signals for the young players. Did you have fun with that? Oh, yeah, that's always fun. We got the Hokie Stone scrimmage at the end of practice, so that was fun calling the plays for the, for the young guys. Does it put in perspective what some of these uh, student assistants have to go through during games, signaling, doing signals and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. No, I know it's a lot of pressure on them, and they do a great job of it. You know, they got to come up with new signals and stuff. And so I know it's a lot of stress on them, and they do a good job. For a guy like yourself, who, who's just sort of in, getting into a starting role, does an open week like that late uh, allow you to just kind of step back and take a breath and, and look at things big picture at all? It does for sure. You know, able to, you know, have some days off of practice, get my body right, get in that training room, you know, just finish so I can finish the season out strong. Team-wise, what, what do the coaches say about these, these final two games? And it feels like it's sort of a, a sprint to the finish here for you guys. Right, you know, so the next game, always the most important game, so – we just focus on this next game, trying to make the most out of it. You know, we only got two more guaranteed bowl game, hopefully. So that's what we, that's what we got. Caleb, what, what stands out to you about this Duke offense you guys are going to face? Coach said it sounds like a lot of RPO elements involved. What, how much uh, assignment based? What does that look like for in your eyes, to just the game plan going into Saturday? Right, so what I've seen from, from Duke's offense is they do everything like very well, like they work together, the O line works together, so and they all do their job. So I feel like it's important. Just we got to do our job and be on point, and that starts this week. Back of the room, bro. Caleb, what did you feel like you guys needed to clean up after Clemson defensively? I think we just need to be on point towards the second half. You know, we 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 start strong as a defense. I feel like we really just got to finish and close out them them, them tough games and close games. Just, I feel like mental focus, you know, you got to just dig deep. If you're tired, you just got to just dig, get, dig, get to that place where you haven't been before. Anything else for Caleb? Andy? You've played now 400-plus snaps this season. Is there a part of your game that feels a lot more comfortable now than it did at the beginning of the year? For sure. Every, I feel like every week it starts slowing down more and more for me. So I feel like, you know, every – Opportunity I get in practice, I try to treat that like a game, and then the games make it it's easier for me now. Is there more and more stuff that they open up for you, or do they kind of give you the whole thing when you go in? It's like a do this, 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 or do you get later in the season more advanced? They're like, all right, start adding this to your game as well. Not really, but as I get more comfortable, you know, I can kind of do different stuff and just be more free. I feel like just being able to know what, what everything that's going on with the offenses. Thank you. Appreciate it.